Hello people, welcome, my name is Fee and today we're going to be looking at another one of my redstone creations. Uh, today it's my 5x5 castle gate. Uh, this is how it works. Push the button and the gate goes down. Push another button and the gate goes up again. It's fairly fast and fairly compact. The lower part is 7x7x8. Seven by seven by and the upper part is 4x5x8 by by and the necessary items are these and that's not including the wiring that will go from the, uh, the system uh, the upper system to the button and the lower and the upper system to the button for the uh, going up part and yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, first we start with the mechanism that will push the pistons and the gravel up uh, so that the gate will be uh, well pushed up. First of all, we start with a with three rows of normal normal pistons, then a row of sticky pistons, and then a row of normal pistons upside down. And then we will have a monocytal circuit right here on three ticks and that's done going all the way over here with repeaters facing into the uh, lowest uh, row of pistons. Then a normal block and a slab and then a normal block and a repeater and then we just do the same as we did over here just a row of redstone, repeaters facing into the pistons, and then we go over here. Then we have a slab, right? Yeah, slab, and we run the redstone over here. Another slab. This slab is to prevent the pistons from being powered by the redstone that lays on top of it. And then we have same as over there, Peter, and then just do this again, redstone, more repeaters, and just like that. Then we have a normal block, and then we go up like this, and into a normal block, and more snaps uh, I think yeah this has to be a regular block and put a block over there this could be anything you can just put some gravel over there if you want just doesn't really matter then we have another snap over there and we just do the same here too with the repeaters like that and this should already work how it's supposed to Let's see yeah. so it just pushes up the blocks that are laying on top of it right here it pushes those up to this level and then good and now we're going to do the part uh, where these go back down okay for the next part we're going to pull the signal from over here uh, using a slab and then we will have uh, two repeaters and three ticks going like that and then we have redstone running all the way over here with some more repeaters facing into blocks that have redstone torches on them and then we will have those redstone torches over there and this has to be connected so uh, make sure that this is the case and that is already it, I think. So, 
Okay, let's test it out. Nope, I missed something. Oh, the block something. Of course. That's another team. Right here. So, this is just your, your ground cover. And as you can see, it goes down one block, and the rest we will do in the next part. So, next up, we are going to go down here and uh, take the signal from over there. And add 2 on 4 and 1 on 3. And go like this. And we block this off with a, with a full block. So, uh, just like that. And 1 on 4, 1 on 1. We have two monostable circuits. And uh, that go like this, both on two ticks, going into some redstone, going over there, and this way this will pulse twice, so we'll go over here, pulse that one, go back here, pulse that one, and so you have two uh, consecutive pulses, and then we go into here, some more redstone torches, and we go up here, Here and up here. And we go all the way around to over here. And we will have a, a repeater right there. And just connect that up. And that should do it for this part. I think. So push that up. And that will pulse twice if it is uh, hooked up correctly. And now we will go to the uh, last part of the uh, area down here, and then we will move on to the upper area. Okay, so the last part is very easy. You just go down here and have some redstone over there, go into a uh, redstone torch, with another redstone torch there, and then we go like this with uh, 1 on 1 and 1 on 2 if I'm correct and, and we go into a block like that so that it will go over here let's check yes it's going to be 2 on 1 just had to make sure alright and now we go down here to push the button which is a bit inconvenient why did I do this? Okay. Um, I'll just do it like this. Then. And as you can see, it just uh, worms its way down uh, all the way to where it's supposed to be. And then we just add the uh, gravel or sand or whatever you're using, maybe red sand, and that should all work. goes up and it goes down and you're done with the first part um, okay so uh, let's move on to the second part all right for the next part you're gonna go up four blocks then have your five uh, tall uh, gate and then you're gonna go up four more blocks uh, where you will have a uh, row of sticky pistons like that and then three rows of normal pistons a row of redstone running over here and a row of repeaters on three and another row of redstone do the same up here but with the repeaters on two like that and a row like that we'll have another row of just redstone then we want a, a piston like that, with a block above it, and a redstone block right there, redstone right there, and a piston right there. And then we will go over here, it's supposed to be a slab, like that, go up like that, then we go up one more 
to this uh, little circle like that. Run it like this, and then one on one and one on four. And now we should be able to just push it down like so. And the lower one should be extended so that you can see the piston heads uh, just uh, on the ceiling. And now when you hook this up to the uh, lower part, it is your wall, and you go in like that, and we'll have the signal running from here to here with a button somewhere in the middle, and we'll click this, and if we push this back so that this will uh, go up, and this thing can easily just push everything back up like this and it should all be back in place and this is basically uh, this is basically it and then you just have to uh, build your castle around it your walls like this you will need to have blocks about these because they won't be flush with the ground about these thre three and the other ones you can just put cover over top then now for the two you just have a flush ground like that and just build your walls and other things and if you don't want a uh, stone block here or a wall like that you can also exchange that for gravel or dirt whatever you want and I guess I will show you how to hook it up to a button or a lever uh, in the next part Okay, now I will show you how to uh, hook up the uh, machine to buttons. Uh, on this side you, will, you can just uh, put in a redstone signal however you want. You can use a beater or redstone, whatever you like. And you just hook it up like a button to a button. I've done it with the slab trick like over here. And just go in like that. And but on the other side, you will have to use a repeater over here because the snake signal has to travel a very long distance uh, all the way up, up here. So you will just have to put a repeater like that, and then you can go down or up or wherever you have your button. And over here, you can just uh, you will have to use something that doesn't disturb the redstone over here so uh, no actually that won't work because that will power the redstone over there you will have to either do something like this that will power it like that or you will have to do it like this you can also uh, use torches like oh did I just do oh yeah. you can use torches like I did over there just have it like like that and then when you uh, you can uh, hook up the button to the redstone over here Like that. that will just work and then you go all the way up like this to your button and hook it up to here and the timing between this doesn't really matter there's pretty big time span between uh, the moments that those need to go as you can see those go up 
a long time before the lower part goes on so you can have a pretty big amount of repeaters between uh, uh, the button and this system before it starts to mess with the, with the whole thing. If you're someone who prefers levers of buttons you can always use a little thing like this a will pulse when you turn it on and pulse when you turn it off and when you want only a single button you can use something like this that will pulse one line when you push it once and the second time you push it it will pulse the other one just take a look it's not very difficult to build um, that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I hope to see you next time